I think that the Star Spangled Banner has been proven to fail in its ability to actually do as it states its claim, which is to unify the nation. The Star Spangled Banner is a song that was, um, from its very inception, one that was meant to develop a certain type of uniformity amongst the citizenship practices. And throughout the 19th century continues to be used as a song to kind of rally people around certain sympathies and networks of support to find some kind of text or symbol to be used that would actually announce people's solidarities with one another, that you can look at your neighbor and be able to share something with them. And so the national anthem develops in this moment as a way to try and rally a certain type of uh, cohesion amongst the citizens of the United States. So during the Civil War, the song was used by the Union Army as a means to gather their troops and to announce themselves as they're heading into battle against the Confederacy. So in that moment, you still have an us versus them kind of mentality being very much explicitly attached to the performance of the Star Spangled Banner. Um, and because it had been used by the Union Army, you can imagine that the Southern states were not too fond of it being chosen as a song that might represent this now unified nation. Because it was not being taught in the South for some number of years, there were only certain populations who had had complete access to its performance. And because of its attachment to the Union Army, one can imagine that Southern segregated schools, that the song was not being taught to black children for many decades um, because of their geography, but also because of their removal from complete access to citizenship rights because of their race. Not only do these communities who see themselves removed from the benefits of the nation, not only do they see themselves directly responding to this singular text of the Star Spangled Banner, but there's also some knowledge that there are other alternatives available. And I think this is something that's really critical to thinking through this whole moment, is that it's not just about challenging the Star Spangled Banner, it's also about exalting or bringing to surface these other texts and performances that have historically and in the present moment meant something to communities who have felt dispossessed. So for example, one can think about Lift Every Voice and Sing, which was by mid 20th century known as the Black National Anthem. That these songs that have circulated in communities of color for many, many decades actually become as significant to them as something like a Star Spangled Banner. My best hope for the future in the wake of these anthem protests is that that we will call the question about whether or not there are other texts that might better represent us.